everyone and welcome or welcome back to my froggy sprinkle island hopping tin today i feel and i think that this might be our last build okay so we're on here we're on this little bit here with toby's house toby is the only house that we haven't decorated i still have a few smaller areas that i need to do like i need to do around these bits and i need to do up this bit which we might do this bit today i don't know we'll see how the inspiration takes us also i've got a few little bits to chuck on the beach ignore this this is a mess <laughs> this thing's fixing i just kind of chucked all the wheat field there but anyway we're gonna be doing this today like i said this might be our last build or it might be our second to last build you'll soon find out if the next hoppington video is a tour then you'll know i'm done you'll know it's finished so anyway let's get to it i have no specific idea in mind for toby i just want him to have a really cute looking yard to be honest he's one of the odd ones out on the island and i say that in the nicest way possible because he's the only one that isn't a frog now the reason we have him on this island is the story is he's obsessed with frogs so much that he wanted to go live with the frogs so that's why he lives here on hoppington it was nice to have him because there wasn't another village that instantly stood out to me that I really wanted in this island. I even want everyone to be surprised or for him to blend in when you see the map of the island. If you've never seen my series and someone visits, it'd be really fun and interesting to see if anyone notices or he just like blends into the environment, you know? Right, over this side, we're just gonna do a little bit of decking. It's kind of exciting getting towards the end of an island. It's it's very exciting. And also, by the way, don't worry. I still have the Grandma Court Island. I just really wanted to focus on getting this island finished because I don't want to just drag it out even more. I think I've made the mistake of trying to do the Grandma Core one when I was like halfway through this one and I just kind of lost motivation. Why can't I get this to work? I kind of lost motivation to do this one. I think that was half the problem but that's okay because we're doing it now. We're gonna get this island done and finished. I'm excited. I can't wait for the final tour. I can't wait for everyone else to visit and as always if you do visit please feel free to tag me in any photos that you take whether it be on instagram or on twitter anything like that i would love to see and also if you visit and you're in the discord post them in the discord please please do like i said i don't want to do anything too crazy well, Toby, we're just gonna make him a very very froggy yard i feel like if you're moving somewhere because you love a certain thing you're going to have your whole yard decorated this way right you're gonna be so inspired you'll be like right I'm obsessed with frogs so therefore i shall live amongst the frogs with frog stuff anyway we're gonna do a little bit of a pathway i don't know do i want to use this one or do i want to use this one i think i'm gonna use the dirt oh that's not where i intended to have it though also let me know if you're just about to finish your island let me know are you excited are you just about done with it let me know your feelings and your thoughts towards your island you're currently doing i feel like we're all feeling a little bit of excitement when we get to the end we're like yes the excitement but then also the hard part is if you're a resetter if you're a restarter like i am the hard part is always deleting your island afterwards because you're like i work so hard on this and i'm just deleting it so i can restart and work hard on another island <laughs> if you think about it it's kind of a bit crazy it's a crazy thing to do you know you spend all these hours working on these islands to just delete them you know actually if you had told me in the year 2020 when this game come out if you had told me in like the first six months that it come out that i would be someone who creates an island and then deletes it after i've spent hours building it I would laugh at you and be like, no. <laughs> I hope that in the next game that they give us the option to just have multiple islands or at least have multiple dream addresses. I understand why not. I understand that their intention was probably to not clog up their system with a bunch of different dream addresses. I feel like they didn't want someone to have... I don't know, six dream addresses set for one island. Because imagine if you saved every single dream address and every progress and it was all different. It would be a lot, right? Especially if you did it after every build. Because some people like to do that. They like to do a build, save a dream address. Do another build, save a dream address. Imagine if it was different each time. There'd be so many. So I kind of get it. I kind of get them not wanting to have that. By the way, why have all the frogs decided to turn up? Why? This isn't an entrance build. Normally on the entrance build, all the little animals turn up. But no, apparently all the frogs want to be here today. Look at them. We got Camo, Frog, Frobert, and Tad. Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite out of those three? And if you can't decide, just give me their beans out of 10 rating. How many beans do we rate them out of 10? I think my favorite here is got to be Tad. 
I don't know what it is. He's just too cute. All right, more trees. More tree. I, oh, no. Oh, I was going to stick a tree here. I don't think it's going to let me, though. Oh, it does. Okay. I was like, maybe it's too close to the stairs, but it was fine. I can't believe we're getting closer and closer to finishing. Also, I'm going to leave this. I don't know if I'm going to do it in this video or if I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave, like, it open, though, so I can get through. Okay, I want to go around and stick a bit of custom code on the floor. We're going to go with this lovely flower code. Also, so many of you responded to my question in my last video about if you wanted me to do Normcore or Kick Cortex. And the crazy amount of you that said that you'd love to see me do a Normcore island. So it looks like we're doing Normcore next. <laughs> but what my question is going to be is what do you even name a Normcore island? Like, what do I do? What do I name it? I normally like to name my islands after the theme I'm doing. But obviously, if I don't have a theme because it's Normcore, what do I name it? Like, what do I do? Help. Help, help, help. If you have an idea for a name, put it down below. And it may help me decide what I want to do. Right, so we're going to put a load of mush parasols around. Also, a lot of Kuropi stuff. Like we were saying, this is Toby's house. He's obsessed with frogs. He's obsessed with Kuropi. So it's going to be everywhere. I am, by the way, I will be sticking Kuropi snacks everywhere because I feel like the island is lacking those just ever so slightly again. I'm going to go around and leaf piles, Kuropi snacks all over this island to make it feel even more froggy. You know what we need here though? A puddle. It has been a few minutes and I haven't used a puddle yet. That's outrageous. I'm probably going to use another one. Oh, we could put it here. Actually, let's add a tree. Got to make sure we plan this tree out properly so that it doesn't mess up my puddle placement. Oh, it messes up my puddle placement. I am sad. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, we could just... It's not even going to go here, is it? I hate this tree. This tree has got to go. I love how we just get rid of the tree because, you know, the puddle takes priority. See, we're not going to be able to get the tree in now, but that's not too much of a bother because, let's be honest, what takes priority right now? I know I love trees and I normally cannot resist a tree, but let's be honest, what's taking priority? Puddle. <laughs> the puddles are. I'm going to stick these things everywhere. Like, honestly, I don't even care at this point. They need to be everywhere. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so much. This is going to be over the top. I want it to be over the top, though. So if you're thinking, whoa, that is over the top. That is the goal here. That is the mission. The mission is OTT. Okay, I got to try not to eat these. There you go. The habit is I either eat them or I end up showing you. <laughs> it goes one of those ways. Kuropi snacks everywhere. Look at them. And they're cute little lily pads. See, I feel like I need one on this puddle. Like 100%. Give it a spin and push it over. Oh, I turned it backwards. What am I doing? <laughs> That's better. There it is. Oh, this looks so cute already. I'm so happy. Like, even Tad loves it. I think Tad would live here if he could. Oh, did I pick up some weeds? I did. I did pick up weeds. Good. I feel like the weeds are definitely going to help with the decorating. I'm going to need to go grab more flowers. That's a normal thing at this point. We're like, yeah, it's normal. I've used a lot of flowers on this island. It is sprinkle though. Oh, see, why does it do this? Sometimes it will put the code under the bridge and sometimes it won't. I just want a lily pad here, please. There. Oh, I'm thinking a nice big lily pad would look really cute here. It fills out the space. It saves us just using flowers. See, look at that. Beautiful. Tad is zooming. Also, it's starting to lag. It is. <laughs> it's starting to lag really badly. Oh, dear. Now, I know it looks like we've nearly finished this area, but trust me, we have not. We have not nearly finished. We need more. It's just not quite foggy enough yet. All right, place a Kuropi snack here. Oh, my gosh. It's just hiding. <laughs> It's too cute. Oh, do I have another bush? No, we are out of bushes. Maybe, though, I could get away with sticking a mush parasol in here. Uh, push it over. Yeah, see, that works. Do I have another little one? I do. I have another small one. Stick a Kuropi snack on top. Give it a spin. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. I really like it. It's it's better than nothing, right? Oh my gosh, he's eating a donut. Look at his cute little face. Oh, this game always makes me happy. Right, I need more furniture. I'm already thinking about color schemes for the next island. I think I'm going to go for quite a neutral color scheme. So, you know, like creams and browns. But then the flip side of that, I really like using color a lot. So I don't know. I think we could get away with sticking a bush in here. But actually, no, we'll just stick some weeds. 
Some weeds are cute. It's almost like a walkthrough, flower field type thing. Oh, I have a large mushroom platform now. This is the big Mario one, so you don't recognize it. It's the Mario mushroom platform. I'm also gonna stick, oh wait, where is it? Small mushroom platform, let's stick that down. I don't want that in line though. Can I push it closer to the tree? Oh yes, I can. I don't have another Karopi snack on me to go on that one, but that will change. We do have a Karopi lantern to go in here. I'm gonna put a bush here eventually, probably a bush here. You can still get through to the beach. Not that I'm gonna overly decorate that beach especially because it's not really gonna be a picturesque looking thing let's right, stick another lantern here oh my gosh is this too much actually no i want it to be too much stop talking <laughs> okay on this bit here we're gonna do a little mush lamp i don't think i'm gonna decorate too much actually on the beach i might leave the beach i might leave that because i need to stick some coconut trees on there um oh that that's gonna go close okay good i was worried it wasn't gonna go up really close then but it did but look at that that's kind of cute you know what? we've done this so quickly i might as well do this a little bit right we might as well just do this bit over here because what else am i gonna do for the rest of the video i didn't want to give him anything too crazily decorated I just, I didn't want to, you know? I'm running out of inspiration. Oh no, we're getting chased by a frog. What's going on? Which way are you going, Watt Junior? Which way? Here we go. Okay, he's teaching me a reaction. Which one is this? Oh, agreement. Okay. Agreement. Agree that you're cute. I don't know why so many people don't like him. Look at him. He's just cute. I, I love him. I love all these frogs that we have. Like, I probably could rate all the villagers on this island. <laughs> My favorite frog is either Henry or Tad. That, that's how it is. Right, let's get some stuff. Actually, no, before we get stuff out, let's go up here. I need... To, oh my gosh, are they going to block the stairs? They're just blocking the stairs. How rude. We... Oh my gosh, I don't have trees. Oh no, right. Maybe I need to go to a treasure island to get trees. I mean, I'm going to have to go get flowers anyway. I want to stick a tree here. I might get some more mush parasols as well. But I think first of all, we're going to do a little pathway. What are you doing here? Absolutely not. <laughs> Oh no, my shovel broke. Why does this happen? The lily of the valley was like, mm -mm, don't you refuse me. Ugh, I jinxed it. Why does nothing ever go where you want it to go? Like, that's not, that's not where I intended, but it's fine. Do you know what we should do? Or actually, I'm probably never going to do it, but it's just funny because I'm thinking about it right now. Would it be a funny challenge if once you put something down, whether it be pathway or an item, you're not allowed to pick it back up? You're not allowed to kick it away or pick it back up. So once it's down, it's down. Imagine that. Imagine if you mess up the path. Imagine like this. <laughs> You'd have to leave it. Oh, that would make me so mad. <laughs> it's never going to happen because let's be honest, we're not going to leave a mistake. I just thought it was a funny thought. That's all. There we go. That kind of works. I think over here, I'm going to stick a lily pad now. Just the small one because obviously the big one's not going to fit. Pump that down. There you go, cute. We can stick the bigger one along here somehow when we got bushes and that. Let's see, what furniture wise could we stick it? Oh, do you reckon a cute little bench? I don't know why I'm asking, do you reckon? Because I'm filming this, you're not able to answer me. <laughs> I think a cute little bench though, the little wild log bench, it will look so cute. Maybe we could stick some little mush lamps and stuff around it, just to make it adorable. And you bet I'm gonna be using a puddle. The tree's gonna go here. I don't know why I'm trying to find my shovel. I don't I don't have a shovel, it broke. A puddle could go here, right? Now Tad has zoomies up here. That is one happy little frog, I'm telling you. You need a happy frog on your island. Tad is your boy. I'm just working out placement of these bigger cards because I really want a lily pad over here. Ta-da, cute. Right, now I'm gonna go get some bushes and some flowers. Okay, we're back, we're back, we're back. We got some stuff to decorate with. Oh, I can't actually put a bush behind here, can I? Because there's wheat field. Right, up here we can though. I can finally stick a tree in. I know it's gonna block it a little bit, but it's necessary okay did i not grab any bushes oops i didn't grab the bushes oh well okay we can't put bushes anywhere i clearly just went with a goal in mind just like yeah forget everything else we definitely need some bushes around here but we're gonna have to wait to do those because i forgot also i'm just realizing i don't actually have a wild log bench but i kind of prefer this anyway i picked up a swinging bench I think it might look nicer, right? It might look nicer. I hope so. Also, I don't know if I want to go and put some vines around this. I don't know just yet. I guess we'll decide. 
We'll decide eventually. Ah, oh, I can't believe I forgot the bushes. It's actually gonna bug me. I need to go get them. Let's just figure out how everything's gonna look furniture-wise before I go and get them. I'm just gonna stick flowers everywhere. I've got mush lamps. I've got mush everything. We got so much stuff. Oh no, I wish I could push that in closer. Also, just because I'm thinking about it a lot because I'm obsessed, give me some of your normcore build ideas. So what comes to mind when you think of normcore? What sort of builds do you think of i'm thinking like outdoor libraries a little park just let me know i want to know because we might all have had a different experience with normcore and so it'd be nice to kind of jog memories so yeah let me know i'm just trying to get as much in as possible oh i don't i don't think i want to put anything too crazy there because to be honest you're not really going to walk over here if you are, I don't know why. Why are you walking over here? Don't do that. It looks so bare. It's because we have no bushes. Makes me so sad. Oh, I picked up a destination signpost and I didn't even put it down anywhere. I think here would be kind of cute. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and grab the bushes because I desperately need those. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot them. Okay, so we just want to put a few bushes in place. Also, do I still have the weeds on me? I do. I might have gone a little bit overboard with the bushes but at least i'll have too many rather than too little i mean if i end up using them all in this small area i'd be very surprised by myself like don't do that that's called obsession obsessed with bushes obsession all right let's just get behind here we definitely need one behind this mush it makes it fill out i like putting them behind trees or anything that feels like it's really open and i don't want it to feel like it's open it definitely makes a difference that's why i really like bushes i just love using them everywhere and i'm never gonna learn i'm never gonna outgrow that if you love using bushes everywhere on your island let me know are you obsessed like me anyway i think that will do for now i think it looks cute like i said i'll do this bit probably off camera i'll probably do it while i'm watching tv just to get it done but let's have a little look around actually let's add more karopi snacks add more karopi snacks and then look around i just want to scatter them everywhere let's be honest toby's obsessed he's let all the little karopi frogs come to live with him you know what maybe some of these areas don't need leaf piles because i might consider that overdoing it you know it might look like it's overdoing it so i might not do leaf piles in some areas because it's already lagging i don't want it to lag more just because of a leaf pile. anyway let's have a look around what we've done today so we're gonna start up here i do have to decorate over there i just don't know what i'm gonna do with it yet knowing me i'm probably just gonna stick flowers trees it fills in we're at the end of this island i just i'm at the point where i just want to get it done but here we have the little transition area it's kind of really cute i love all the little karopi snacks and the mush items down the incline we go though and we get even more Frogginess going on. This actually leads over to the lily pads. But we got karopi snacks everywhere, which are just they're meant to be just little frogs. We got mush items, karopi lanterns, and it's because our favorite little froggy non-frog lives here. Toby. He lives in this cute little house. Now I'll probably decorate this beach with wheat field and some coconut trees and i don't know what else i don't know what i'm gonna do with the beaches yet i don't even know if i'm gonna do them to be honest this is very cute i kind of like how it look it's it's a very simple area if you're feeling more of a natural island this build could definitely work on your island but yeah i think it's kind of cute but the space that i had i feel like i did quite a lot now i'm hoping that either be one more video which i don't think there's enough left of this island for me to make another video out of so i'll probably just finish in the little bits if not hopefully the next video for this island will be the tour which is so exciting i hope you're excited too and i'll go through my pros and cons during that tour of how i felt during this island because i feel like this was quite quite a tough one to do and i want to explain what i would do different and stuff but anyway there it is this is today's build and there it is we finished today's build i had a good time and i think this island is finally starting to feel finish which i'm so excited about it means i get to move on to our next fun adventures now if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe come join the jellybean family have the loveliest of days and i will see you in my next one goodbye